In Vectorworks, you can print from a design layer or from a sheet layer. You could do either. Uh, but there's a couple of reasons you'll really want to print from sheet layers almost primarily, especially if you're going to be doing whole large runs of prints, and I'll show you why. Uh, for the moment, if we were to go to File and Print right now, we're on Design Layer. We don't know what it's going to print. How, how could I tell what's going to be seen here? If we look at a sheet layer, this one's been customized to be a, an unusual page size here. We can see not only the sheet border, but we can actually see the outline of the printable area. And if we go to one of the more simpler render sheet layers that don't have a, a sheet border, we can see the page area here. Why can't we see it on the design layer? That's because it's turned off. By default, it is a rectangle that will show, and we can turn that back on, file, page setup, show page boundary, and this is just a regular piece of letter paper. And here it's over here. Now, we could go to the pan tool, click and hold, grab the move page tool, click hold this up and try to get this to fit on here and alter our design layer scale to try to get this to fit on the page, but it's just a hassle. You generally, unless I want to do one quick page of, for instance, this room and I didn't really care what else was on the drawing, then it would be fine to print from a design layer. But normally that's not what you want. Normally you have a really good idea of what you want to be printing and you're going to be doing nice clean layouts like this. And you'll notice if you go to file and page setup when you're looking at these sheets, they have a custom page size and that's stored individually per sheet. So if I go to another one, this is a completely different size here. So you can see they will also store the page areas. If you go to the design layer, that's only one page area. So no matter how many design layers you have, it will always use the same page area setup. So that's, that's another reason you would want to use sheet borders for it. The second reason is publish. So if we go to file and print, we can print one object. It'll print whatever the one sheet layer, one design layer we have currently active. We can set the, what the printer is and we'll just leave that alone. That's pretty common and everyone's pretty familiar with that. However, file and publish lets you do a lot more, including printing. Batch print used to be a separate command and now it's just rolled into publish. So in here I can see not only all of my sheet layers, but also any saved views I might have from the document. In this particular file, all these save views are more functional. They're more for doing the actual drawing. They're not presentation views. However, I can grab all of these, click on the first one, hold shift, click on the last one. You can just click add these. By default, they'll show up as whatever items were added here, add new items. So these are going to export to a PDF. But if we don't want that, and we want to print these sheets instead, we can add them this way. And now they'll show up as printing. Each of these we can select, and you can choose whether you want them black and white only individually. It'll explain what type it is here. If it's from another file, which you can choose here, I could choose a completely different file and choose to publish from multiple files if I want to. That's a little more advanced and we'll get into that later. But here, each of these individual settings, if I click Options, I'll be able to see the print settings for this particular page. But just the print settings. The page layout settings will be back here on Page Setup, so you'd have to make sure to get those right first. You obviously won't be able to see if I use a printer here, so I will use PDF just to show this. Now something else to make very clear before we do this. Uh, now you can either select one or you can select all of these and then change the options for it. That'll let you do them multiple ones at a time. These checkboxes at the bottom, update visible out of date viewports, reset all plugin objects, and recalculate worksheets. If you don't have any worksheets, this won't matter. We can uncheck this, that's fine. Uh, reset all plugin objects that require a reset before exporting. This is things like um, data or number stamps where it has the date. Those are built in. It'll make sure that they have the date updated. Uh, I think a few of the title blocks will also update to make sure they have the most recent version of the symbol, things like that. Generally, if your sheets are already looking the way you want them to look and everything's fine, you can leave this unchecked. But this is the most important one. If you have a viewport that might be out of date, say I did those three rendering viewports and then I went in and just changed the name of a layer. I didn't do anything else to the actual rendering that would actually affect the way it looked. If I left this checked, those viewports would be out of date, so they would try to update again. So if I'd spent something like three hours rendering all those viewports, doing this publish operation to PDF would then take that three hours plus the time it would need to take the PDFs to export. Make sure you uncheck this option if you already know your viewports are ready to go, and then click OK, and then go ahead and publish. Publish it. It's asking if I want to save this as a set. If I'm going to want to publish this PDF over and over, or this set of PDFs, or this print this set of prints, 
over and over again, and I know I'm going to do pretty much the same kind every time, you don't have to set that up every single time. You can simply say yes to set it. So it'll save it as a set. So do custom set. And that'll be available from here. And we'll go ahead and export this directly to the documents folder. That's fine. When it's done, it'll show you the last sheet layer in the list, and it'll give you a list of the published items. You can uncheck this. If you, if you can uh, check this and hit OK, if you never want to see this again, that's fine. And in here, we'll have the actual PDFs. So these will go on the pages as they were laid out to be. So this page will be this page size. In a PDF, it doesn't really matter. You can have mixed pages of different values. They don't all need to be the same um, width and height. So you could even send this out and then print from this. Or very commonly, what you'll be doing is you'll export to a PDF and then send that to a print shop if you're going to be printing to much larger format printers. That's very common. So that's another use you can use for this.